Hey guys, video number four. Um, today we're going to be working on fractions. Everybody's favorite. Um, we're going to be working on what, or we're going to be working on fraction decimal equivalencies. So we're going to be working on changing fractions to decimals and seeing what fraction or what decimal is equal to what fraction. Okay, so I've already written a problem up here on the board that says which decimal is equivalent to five eighths. Now, if you will remember, the way that we change a fraction to a decimal is we have to divide, okay? So you, you're gonna have plenty of time at home right now to practice your division skills. I'm gonna go through this problem with you, and then I'm gonna do another problem that's pretty much just like this one, and then you practice your division skills while you're at home, okay? Practice, practice, practice. All right, so the first thing we do is we've got to set up our division bar, okay? And our division bar looks just like that, okay? Now, you need to remember the bottom number, this eight, that is our denominator, okay? The denominator is gonna go on the outside of our division bar, all right? Then the numerator, the five in this one, is going to go on the inside. So denominator always goes on the outside, numerator always goes on the inside. Then we add a decimal and we add two zeros. Is it coming back to you now? I hope so. All right, so this decimal right here, we're going to bring straight up and we're going to put him right there. That way, when we start dividing, we know where to line our numbers up and where our decimal is going to go in the answer. Okay, and now we just divide like we've always divided. All right, so the first thing we need to ask ourselves, can eight go into five? How many times can eight go into five? Well, eight is bigger than five. So you cannot put something big into something small. Okay, if you wear a large t-shirt, you can't go to the store and buy a small and expect it to fit. Okay, so eight goes into five zero times. All right, now we're going to put our little multiplication here. And we know that anything times zero, so zero times eight is zero. So that zero is going get to right, get put right there. Now from here, we subtract five minus nothing. Five minus zero is five, all right? Now, we come over here. We bring this zero down, okay? Now, my next step is to ask myself, how many times can eight go into 50? Now, this is where my multiplication facts are going to help me. To figure out how many times eight goes into 50, if I don't know that off the top of my head, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna write my eight times tables, okay? So eight times one is eight. Eight, whoops. Eight times two is 16. Eight times three, 24. Eight times four, 32. Eight times five, 40. 8 times 6 is 48, and 8 times 7 is 56. Now, I'm going to stop right there, because right here I've gotten 56, and already 56 is bigger than 50. So I know that this cannot be, 8 cannot go into 50 seven times. Okay, I can't use that 7. So the next number that's as close to 50 as I can get is this right here, six times eight, or eight times six. But you all like, you know, you all know that I like to say six times eight is 48, because it rhymes. Okay, so how many times can eight go into 50? It can't go in evenly, but it can get very close with this six. So I'm gonna put my six here, and then six times eight is 40. Then I'm going to subtract here. I can't do zero minus eight, so I'm gonna borrow from here, make this a 10. 
So 10 minus 8 is 2. All right. Now, I'm going to come up here. I don't stop because I haven't gotten a zero and nothing has repeated. The only time you stop division when you're doing fractions and decimals is when you get a zero or when you get a repeating number. And so far, I haven't gotten any of that. So I'm going to come up here to this zero and I'm going to bring it down here. So I've got, now I ask myself, how many times can eight go into 20? Well, I've already got my multiplication tables over here. So I can see that I can't, eight can't go into 20 evenly, but it can get very close with this 16 right here. And I know that eight times two is 16. So eight times two is gonna give me 16. Now I'm running out of room right here, so I'm gonna come over here and do 20 minus 16, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm gonna subtract. I can't do zero minus six, so I'm gonna borrow, and make that a 10. 10 minus six is four, all right? Now I have not gotten a repeating number, nothing has repeated so far, and I didn't get a zero right here. So what I need to do is I need to add, I'm running out of room here. I need to add a zero right here. I know that's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna extend this out. Okay, so I added a zero here. Now I'm gonna bring it down here. Now I need to ask myself, how many times can eight go into 40? All right, now I can kind of see right here that eight times five equals this 40 right here. So eight can go into 40 evenly, and it can go in five times, okay? Five times eight is 40, and 40 minus 40 is zero. So I've gotten a zero, so that means I can stop. So I'm gonna look over here, and I'm gonna see which answer choice matches my answer that I got up here. A says 0 and uh, um, 625 um, thousands, okay? And I know that that is not right. This answer does not match what's over here. But when I look at B, this answer matches. This decimal is exactly the same as this decimal over here. So 5 eighths. equals 625,000, okay? All right. Okay, now for this problem, they've given me a decimal to begin with and they want me to figure out which fraction is equivalent to this decimal. Now, I want everybody to take a second. I want you to think about this word, equivalent, Okay, which one of these fractions equals this decimal? All right, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work through each of these fractions until we find which one is equal to four tenths. Now, there are several different ways that you could find an equivalent fraction to four tenths because when I say four tenths out loud, it also could look like this. Four tenths. When you say this fraction out loud, four tenths, you say it the exact same way that you say this decimal. This four is in the tenths place. That means that you read this decimal four tenths. However, that's not one of our answer choices. This fraction is not one of our answer choices. So we've got to figure out which one of these fractions also equals this four tenths right here. So we're gonna start with A. So I know that my division bar looks like this, okay? My denominator goes on the outside. My numerator goes on the inside. I add decimal and two zeros. Then I bring my decimal straight up. Excuse me, now I can start to divide. So I ask myself, how many times can five go into four? 
Well, five is bigger than four, so it cannot go into four. So a zero is going to go here, okay? So, so far, so good, zero, zero, but let's keep going. So I'm gonna put my multiplication here, zero times five is zero. I subtract here, four minus zero is four. Now I'm gonna drop this down, this zero gets you dropped here. Now I need to ask myself, how many times can five go into 40? Now I can come over to the side and write my five times tables, but my fives are easy to count by. So I'm just gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So five goes into 40 eight times. So my eight is gonna go up top. Eight times five, 40. Subtract equals zero. Now I know I can stop because I got this zero right here. That means to stop. So I know that four fifths as a, as a decimal equals zero and eight tenths. But I'm looking for zero and four tenths. So this, is not a right answer. So let's go on to the next one, two fifths. So my division bar looks like this. My five, which is my denominator, goes on the outside. My two, which is the numerator, goes on the inside. I add a decimal, two zeros, and I bring this decimal straight up. So this is my whole problem. It's set up, it's ready for me to divide. So here we go. How many times, you ask yourself, how many times can five go into two? Five is bigger than two, so it cannot go into two. So a zero is gonna go here. So zero times five is zero. I'm gonna subtract here. Two minus zero is two, okay? Now, same thing, I'm gonna drop this zero down right here. And I'm going to ask myself now, how many times can this five go into 20? And I'm, again, just going to count by fives on my fingers. Use your fingers. Then it's not going to hurt anything, okay? So five, 10, 15, 20. Four times. So my four is going to go right up here. That four goes right above that zero that we just dropped down because that's where we're working, okay? So five times four, excuse me, times five is 20, I subtract, 20 minus 20 is zero. So over here, I've got two fifths and that equals zero and four tenths, which is what I am looking for. So this B is my correct answer, okay? All right, in the next video, we're gonna do some comparing and ordering, but it's still gonna be the same thing as changing fractions to decimals, okay?